Hey, love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family, just thank you for the love and support, being able to resonate with each other. Even though we're going through some really trying times, we are heading towards the light at the end of that tunnel. Believe that. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up, tell me about your empathic gift. Um... And where it's heading you in the positive production. Also, if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes and good information, you would love to share a loved one, family, or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support that you have been giving me as well as the channel. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of the video. And today I'm listening to this uh, MSR video. I've never wa listened to an MSR video when I hear people like, you know, crunching and eating food on, you know, on the microphone. I can't deal with it. But this one's very uh, spiritual. It's called Open the Portal of Miracles in Your Life. MSR, Natural Sounds Med uh, Med uh, Manifestation. I don't know why I got tongue tied on that one. So I'll post the link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey Okas, knowing you are the only one that can change the direction of your path you take. And it's so true. You know, it's just you can either continue to keep going down the path you're going through. And I mean, I'm telling you, you don't want to do that. <laughs> you know, because that was the whole purpose of you going through the spiritual awakening for you to be able to experience the the empathic side of your life the spiritual side of your life the magical side of your life being able to see things and how they connect being able to know you can get through the things that have been sent towards your way that has really brought you in a whirlwind you know it's just like when you experience these you know these spiritual awakenings and i see it every day and there's a lot of people they send towards my way and i'm just like oh, i don't think they're ready yet to even hear this stuff you know i've uh met with people that i've known for years that they're going through divorces or they lost loved ones or you know a best friend has died and all these different things has happened and it's just like you know like i told y'all you know if you've been with me for a while you hear me say I'm, i feel like i'm an empath social worker <laughs> i feel like i'm an empath social worker you know helping people along the way you know i everything is up with free will but if, if stuff starts falling apart in your life and you are truly not listening to the advice i give you you know like i tell people you either need to take the advice when the advice is given or you uh universe is gonna make you take that advice but it's not gonna be the way you want it because it's gonna make your life go through a living hell if you don't start paying attention and listening you know you have gone through this path for a reason you're you know things the way you know before you had the spiritual awakening you you knew there was a part of you that was missing you know that it was in the back of your mind this has to be more than what i'm seeing you know life has to be more than you know all these worldly things and then when you finally find that out it's your choice to make that impact on your own life being able to say i'm not gonna live like this anymore i know there's better things are yet to come or my life is meant for something else you know, and it's just like I, when I was going down my, my path, it, it was like, oh, gosh, <laughs> I kept on finding myself getting in trouble. If I wasn't fighting, I was cussing somebody out. If I wasn't cussing somebody out, I was getting fired from jobs. If I wasn't getting fired from jobs, I was walking away from jobs while I was cussing folks out. And I knew my life had to be more than that, you know, because I know I'm a sweet part you know, sweethearted person and going through all those things, you know, I knew things had to be better than this and it took me to have to lose my father for me to find out all these different things about myself and the capability I was able to achieve <laughs> on the things I had to achieve in my life and I'm so blessed even though you know I had took a big L by losing my father which was so so tragic to me you know um 
when I can look at everything past that, you know, being able to know who I truly am is a blessing. Being able to know I can make videos, something I actually love to do. It doesn't seem like a job. It doesn't seem like I'm being made to do this. I love what I do. I love to be able to help other people. I always, like I said before, I've been wanting to do this since I was a little girl. I just never knew how I was going to do it. And I used to tell my mom, there's one day my mom would be able to help the world in some kind of way and make people happy. And, you know, and I love what I do, being able to, you know, you, you, you drop these comments to me, letting me know, you know, you really felt this video. Or, Rosalind, you must be in my head because these are the things that I'm going through. And it, it's just a blessing to be able to do that, even though it's kind of weird <laughs> when you come back and you tell me, Rosalind, are, are you putting hidden mics in my house? Or, you know, Rosalind, are you in my head? No. It's just when universe guides me to say, you know, I, I come up with like about 10 or 20, you know, contents and it's just like, what am I feeling today? You know, I might have, you know, 10 on one page and I'm just not feeling that today, but I have about five on this page that I'm definitely feeling, you know, each and every one of them. So I go which one that I feel like I'm more drawn to or universe tell me, hey, you know, we know you got all these written down, but we want you to talk about this today. No problem. I'll go ahead and do that. And it's just a blessing to be able to do what I do. You know, being able to tell people, even though you're going through so much hell right now, you have to believe you're going to get through this. You know, it, their science has been telling you each and every day, better days are coming. You know, be prepared. Prepare yourself. You know, it's going to be when you least expect it. Um, you're... You know, the angels and spirit guides are applauding you for your effort of living in a more authentic life. You know, walking in your true self. You know, going down that true path that you were truly meant for you to go through. You know, and a lot of people just don't want to hear it at that time. And I'm like, you know, I got to tell people, I don't mind, but don't waste my time. <laughs> I tell people, do not waste my time because time is something I can't get back. You know, I love what I do. I'm not getting paid for what I do. So it's just the fact... For me, doing this is coming from the kindness of my heart. And if I feel like my time is being wasted, I get very cranky. I get very cranky. And it's not to be that, you know, that itch at that moment. But if that switch get popped, hey, that is not my fault. You know, that is not my fault. You chose to put me down that corner. But it's just the fact when I can be able to help people and knowing I'm just like, look, you know, there's times I, I've even got in arguments with myself saying you know what you're going through this for a reason you got to really look at the bigger picture here you know even though it might be hard to see under stressful conditions like when everything calms down you have to really look at it and see for what it's worth you know and then there's a lot of times i, I just you know when that that aha moment comes i said thank you i just have to look up and say thank you because you know i was in you know into my feelings or whatever when something popped off in my life and i'm just like god why do these things keep happening to me? Why do I have to constantly keep going through stuff like that? And don't even realize that was a blessing in disguise for that to be halted like that. So if there are situations you know you want in your life, but there, you know, it either delays that or it doesn't even go in that direction. Obviously, there was a storm heading your way for universe to you know halt that you know or there's something you truly wanted but you're you know you're not getting it right now obviously you know you can pray for one thing and be working hard for that you never know and it's just like i always tell people when you pray for stuff and you working hard for it you know um you might be working hard for it and you you never know spirit guides and all of them are just like you know he or she been working so hard let's just bless them with more than what they ask for and it's usually how it goes it's just like when you're blessed when you when you're aiming towards one one thing and they see that you're you know you're working hard even though you run into brick walls and you still don't give up do you know how much you know blessings that you come up with you know i've seen so i've, I've seen it in the making where you know our new friends were just praying for one one thing and then their life just you know, just ignited. You were like, Rosalind, I never thought was, but this was going to happen. I said, didn't I tell you? You know, I even told my daughter, you know, she used to stress out about, Mom, you know, I wasn't going to have enough money to, you know, start this book. And, I'm, you know, I'm doing this fundraiser or whatever. I'm doing this thing where, you know, I'm trying to get people to donate for this. And I said, you know what? I even supported her on that. I mean, if you've been with me for a while, you have probably seen me, you know, 
throwing out her website on every video that I was pulling out, you know, because I was supporting my child like that. You know, I, I believed in her. I believed in the things she was doing. So if I can help out, you know, I did that. You know, if I can show support, you got, but you have to be that one that's, you know, helping yourself is the same. So it's just like when you know you're on that path, you can either choose the path to keep going down things and learning stuff the hard way and having yourself knocked down, knocked down, and knocked down, or you can go through these things where you're going through trials and tribulations, but you're healing. And while you're healing, you're learning. And while you're learning, you're strengthening. When you're strengthening, you're getting wiser. So all these things is coming at you, but you have to be that one that takes the first step. You have to be that one that believes in yourself and say, you know what? My life has to be better than this. So you're doing all the things you're doing for a reason. You're, you're going down this path for a reason. And knowing better days are coming for you, you really got to believe it. It's truly a blessing for you. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content in this video. Uh, like and subscribe. Even hit the notification button to let, you know, so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And um, I'm going to give a post notification shout out to Brittany Wick and David Deb. And um, mm, let me see who else. Sam, I am Holmes. So much love to you. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line and let me know. You know, do you resonate with this content of this video? Share. Give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you on my, on my next video. And I hope you have a peace, blissful week that's starting ahead. It's like Manic Monday. So, you know, starting up again. So, I hope you have a, a blessed week progress uh, what is it prosperous that's the word i'm looking for a prosperous week and i will see you on my next video much love to you peace and be well